Today I'm going to be demoing uh, something I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, it's the, the single most requested feature in Virto Studio, and I'm rolling it out for the VR version, and then eventually the other versions as well, and that is grid snapping or snapping in general. So let me show you guys essentially how that works. So I'm going to add a cube here. And before in Virto, there was no way for you to edit the actual transform pivot for individual objects, but now you can. So by showing this pivot, I essentially can now grab this and move it wherever I want. But it doesn't end there. I can actually snap this pivot to any other thing that I want to snap it to, for example, the face. So by turning on snap to faces, I can snap this pivot now to the bottom face of this cube. And the reason why that's useful is now, by turning on snap the grid, I can actually snap this cube to any point on the grid that I want, or I could snap it to the face, which is the middle of this plane right here. So I'm going to take this cube, scale it down, and then I'm going to enable snap to grid. I'm going to snap this to a certain point on the grid, and then snap this to either the same spot, or if I want to be more precise, to actually the center face of the uh, the quad itself. And this makes aligning things like this, which used to be kind of guesswork in Virto, extremely precise. So now I have that thing snapped, I can duplicate him and then snap him on top of the guy just below him and I could scale that if I wanted to. So you guys get the idea of the, the, the amount of power here that you have. Um, I'll just show you some more of the snapping options really quick. I'm going to create a very tiny sphere. Oh, I have snapping on it. I didn't mean to do that. Get out of there. I'm going to turn pivots off. And I'm going to scale the sphere super small. That's almost too small. Like that. Make it red. There's my sphere, and I could snap this sphere to actual vertices. So the snapping modes are grid, vertices, faces, and edges. So I'll show you what vertices looks like. So I can just snap this right to the corner here. So again, if I pull it out, or if I try to grab it, it will snap, which is really nice. So now I can duplicate this thing, and I can snap it. Again, this would be really hard to do in Virto before, and now I'm just really quickly snapping this thing to the four corners extremely simply. <laughs> if I could talk, that'd be great. Uh, in an extremely simple fashion. So again, uh, that's snapping to corners. If I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting and maybe create a uh, cylinder here, there's a cylinder. Again, temporarily turn off snap the vertices. Scale this thing so that it's a really long tube. Go into edit mode, flatten it out. So here's my cylinder. If I wanted to, I could take this cylinder and actually snap it to an edge so that it basically kind of appears to be like arms coming out of this edge. And there's two ways to do that first. I turn on pivots here and I take this pivot and I snap it to the vertex at the very end. Oh, not vertex, face. I snap it to the, no, it is vertex. So I've snapped this thing to the very center of the edge of my uh, cylinder and now I can snap this to any edge that I want. So by snapping it to this edge, I basically created kind of like an arm, if you will, coming out of this thing. And because this pivot isn't just the snapping pivot, it's actually the rotational center, I can actually rotate this thing and it will actually revolve around its pivot. And I could rotate this thing any old way that I wanted to. So you guys kind of get the idea of the amount of control that you have here that you did not have before. Uh, which is really cool. Again, if I wanted to duplicate this, it'd be really simple. I take this thing, I move it. I could rotate it around like this, turn snapping back on, and snap this to the alternate edge. 
So that's a very brief demo of snapping, uh, and I'm really, really happy with it. I think you guys will be too. Uh, that'll be coming out in the uh, next release of the VR version of Virto Studio. It is featured in both VR and desktop mode, and eventually will be coming to the iOS and Mac versions as well.